The moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. The Federal Aviation Administration has officially issued the launch license for Starship Flight 8, marking a critical milestone in SpaceX's journey to make humanity multiplanetary. This isn't just another routine approval. The FAA has completely revolutionized Starship's operational framework. For the first time ever, the license includes formal definitions for orbital flight and re-entry, essentially removing major regulatory hurdles that would have slowed future missions. What does this mean? Flight 8 could become the historic mission where Starship not only reaches full orbit, but successfully deploys payloads in space, a game-changing evolution from previous test flights. Meanwhile, the countdown clock is ticking at Starbase. SpaceX teams are working around the clock on final hardware preparations. While Ship 34 hasn't moved to the transport stand yet, suggesting payload integration work continues behind the scenes, Booster 15 is already at the launch site with its flight termination system installed. Before we witness Flight 8's launch scheduled for March 3rd, SpaceX has another critical mission on deck. NASA has entrusted them to launch two groundbreaking scientific spacecraft, Sphere X and Punch, aboard a Falcon 9 from California this weekend. And let's not forget, intuitive machines Odysseus lander Athena is currently en route to the moon having already sent back spectacular images of Earth as it journeys toward a March 6th lunar landing attempt. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to humanity's greatest space adventure. Let's dive right in. Let's take a closer look at exactly what makes this FAA license update so groundbreaking. The modifications made on February 26th fundamentally transform how Starship can operate in the future. The first major change appears in Section 3 of the license, where the FAA has formally introduced the term orbital flight as an official category alongside suborbital flight. This seemingly simple addition carries enormous implications for SpaceX's operational capabilities. According to the updated license, an orbital flight officially ends at whichever of these milestones occurs last, after all payloads have been successfully deployed Upon completion of Starship Dar Super Heavy's first stable orbit, if no payload deployment is planned, after vehicle landing or impact on Earth, after all necessary activities to secure the vehicle following landing, after all required measures to return the landing site to safe conditions. What this means in practical terms is revolutionary. SpaceX will no longer need to request additional license modifications when conducting true orbital operations. Want to test payload deployment mechanisms? Cleared. Need to validate the orbital refueling system that's critical for Mars missions? Green lit. The regulatory runway has been dramatically extended, saving months of potential delays for future missions. The second major update defines re-entry parameters with similar clarity. Re-entry officially begins with Starship's final health checks in orbit before initiating its deorbit burn. It concludes once the vehicle or its components are secured on the ground after landing or impact. This definition gives SpaceX the regulatory framework needed to attempt full orbital re-entry, one of the most challenging aspects of spaceflight and a critical capability for Starship's ultimate mission profile. The heat shields will face temperatures exceeding 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit as Starship plunges back through Earth's atmosphere at over 17,000 miles per hour. Being able to test this capability without additional regulatory hurdles removes another major obstacle from SpaceX's path. These updates confirm that the FAA has completed its investigation into previous Starship mishaps and is satisfied with SpaceX's corrective actions. The speed of this approval process also signals a possible shift in the FAA's approach, streamlining procedures to help maintain U.S. leadership in the global aerospace industry. Hardware preparations at Starbase. While securing regulatory approval represents a major milestone, equally important is the physical hardware preparation taking place at Starbase. Currently, Ship 34, S-34, remains at the production site and hasn't yet moved to its transport stand, which has already arrived. This unusual sequence suggests SpaceX is still working on a critical component, the payload deployment system. Unlike previous test flights focused purely on launch and flight dynamics, Flight 8 will test actual payload deployment capabilities, marking another significant advancement in Starship's development journey. 
Meanwhile, at the launch site, Booster 15, B-15, has been equipped with its flight termination system, FTS. The safety mechanism that allows controllers to deliberately destroy the rocket if it veers off course. This critical safety system must be certified and operational before any test flight can proceed. Curiously, engineers have been observed repeatedly removing and reinstalling the hot staging ring on B-15. This component is vital for Starship's unique hot staging separation technique, where the second stage engines ignite while still attached to the first stage. The repeated work suggests potential issues with either the ring itself or its alignment with the booster's crossbeams. Until SpaceX releases an official statement, we can only speculate about the exact nature of these adjustments. For Flight 8 to maintain its March 3rd target launch date, several critical milestones must be completed within days. Ship 34 must be transported to the launch site, ASUS 34 must be stacked onto Booster 15, a full wet dress rehearsal must be conducted to validate fueling procedures. The clock is ticking, with barely a week remaining before the scheduled launch. Any delays in this aggressive timeline could push the launch date further. Supporting the mission timeline, a new NOTAM notice to air missions has been issued for the Super Heavy Landing Area. This regulatory notice restricts air traffic during specific timeframes to ensure safety during the mission. The notice's timing has been adjusted to align with SpaceX's updated launch schedule, suggesting confidence in the March 3rd target. If everything proceeds as planned, we're in for an extraordinarily exciting weekend at Starbase, the perfect appetizer before Monday's main event. Flight 8 could be the defining moment when Starship officially transitions from an experimental test vehicle to a functional orbital spacecraft. NASA's critical science missions, Sphere X and Punch. Before Flight 8 captures all our attention, SpaceX has another vital mission on its manifest. NASA has entrusted the company with deploying two significant scientific spacecraft, Sphere X and Punch, aboard a Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 4E in California. Currently targeted for March 2nd at approximately 10.09 p.m. Eastern, 7.09 p.m. Pacific. This launch exemplifies NASA's Launch Services Program, LSP, strategy of pairing complementary science missions with commercial providers to maximize both scientific return and financial efficiency. Sphere X, spectrophotometer for the history of the universe, epoch of reionization and ISIS Explorer, will serve as a wide-angle complement to the James Webb Space Telescope. While both operate in the infrared spectrum, they fulfill different observational roles. Webb excels at capturing incredibly detailed, zoomed-in views of specific celestial objects, like finding a particular tree in a forest. Sphere X, by contrast, will conduct broad surveys, mapping the entire forest. This wide-field capability will provide crucial context for Webb's detailed observations potentially revealing connections and patterns in cosmic structure that might otherwise remain hidden. Given Webb's already revolutionary discoveries, the addition of Sphere X to our observational arsenal could unlock even deeper cosmic secrets. Launching alongside Sphere X is Punch, polarimeter to unify the corona and heliosphere, a constellation of four small satellites designed to explore the sun's outer atmosphere and its interaction with the solar wind. The mission consists of three wide-field imagers and one narrow-field imager positioned in Earth orbit. Punch's primary objective is to study how the Sun's corona, its outermost atmospheric layer, connects to and influences the heliosphere, the protective bubble surrounding our entire solar system. This research has profound implications for space weather prediction, which directly impacts astronaut safety, spacecraft operations, and even infrastructure on Earth. Solar storms can damage satellites, disrupt communications, and in extreme cases, even knock out power grids. By better understanding the mechanisms driving these events, Punch could help develop more effective protective measures, becoming a critical component in our space weather forecasting capabilities. The fact that SpaceX has been selected to deliver these sophisticated scientific instruments demonstrates NASA's confidence in the company's reliability and precision. As the most flexible launch provider operating today, SpaceX continues to play an instrumental role in advancing humanity's scientific frontiers. Athena's Journey to the Moon 
While we anticipate both the NASA Science Mission and Starship Flight 8, another historic SpaceX launch mission is already making its way through space. Intuitive Machines recently shared the first images captured by their lunar lander, Athena, showing Earth's stunning blue sphere against the vast blackness of space. The images also provide a clear view of the lander's feet, confirming its stable positioning as it travels toward the moon. According to Intuitive Machines, after liftoff on February 26, Athena established a stable attitude, solar charging, and radio communications contact with our Mission Operations Center in Houston. The company reports that the lander is in excellent health, sending selfies back to Earth while preparing for a series of planned main engine firings to refine its trajectory. Lunar orbit insertion is scheduled for March 3rd, coincidentally the same day as Starship's planned launch, with a targeted lunar landing opportunity on March 6th. This mission has generated enthusiastic responses from the space community. Jared Isaacman, NASA's selected administrator, congratulated Intuitive Machines on the successful deployment. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell shared additional images of the mission with the message, Intuitive Machines lander is on its way to the moon after Falcon 9 successfully deployed Athena into a lunar transfer orbit. Not a bad view. Best of luck to Intuitive Machines, Astroforge, and NASA JPL's Lunar Trailblazer and Epic Aerospace's Chimera GEO-1 on the remainder of your mission. Soon this will be the view on our way to Mars. It's so beautiful. These developments highlight SpaceX's expanding role in advancing space exploration beyond Earth orbit. The images showing Athena steadily moving away from our home planet visually reinforce the company's progress toward its ultimate goal of making humanity multiplanetary. Why Flight 8 Matters As we look toward Flight 8's rapidly approaching launch date, it's worth reflecting on why this particular mission represents such a critical milestone in Starship's development journey. Unlike previous test flights that focus primarily on launch dynamics, propulsion systems, and basic flight controls, Flight 8 will integrate multiple advanced capabilities into a single mission profile. The planned payload deployment test marks Starship's transition from an experimental vehicle to a functional spacecraft capable of delivering satellites, supplies, or eventually humans to their destinations. The regulatory framework now in place also allows for a complete mission profile, from launch through orbital operations to controlled re-entry. If successful, Flight 8 would validate Starship's full operational concept in a single mission, dramatically accelerating its path to regular service. For context, consider that SpaceX's Falcon 9 required multiple incremental tests before attempting full mission profiles. Starship is attempting to compress this development timeline significantly, potentially revolutionizing how spacecraft are brought to operational status. The stakes are extraordinarily high. Beyond the immediate goals of the Starship program, this test represents a critical step in SpaceX's broader vision of establishing a sustainable human presence on Mars. The same capabilities being tested on Flight 8, reliable launches, payload deployment, and controlled re-entry, form the foundation of the Mars mission architecture. As we wait for Flight 8's launch, we're not just witnessing another rocket test. We're watching the systematic validation of technologies that could fundamentally transform humanity's relationship with space. If successful, this flight won't just be a win for SpaceX, it will be a giant leap forward for our species' multiplanetary aspirations. As we look at the incredible lineup of missions in the coming days, it's clear we're witnessing a pivotal moment in space exploration. From NASA's scientific spacecraft launching on March 2nd to Starship Flight 8 on March 3rd and Athena's potential lunar landing on March 6th, this single week could deliver multiple historic achievements. What makes this moment truly special is that these aren't isolated events, but interconnected steps in humanity's expanding cosmic presence. The scientific instruments aboard Sphere X and Punch will enhance our understanding of the universe. While Starship Flight 8 tests the very vehicle that could one day carry humans to Mars, and Athena demonstrates private industry's growing capability to reach the lunar surface. This convergence of missions perfectly illustrates SpaceX's central role in accelerating our multiplanetary future. The regulatory breakthroughs with the FAA signal a new chapter where innovation can progress more rapidly while maintaining safety standards. For those wondering if we'll see these ambitious goals realized in our lifetime, 
The evidence is unfolding before our eyes. The path to Mars is being built mission by mission, milestone by milestone, right now. If you're as excited as I am about this incredible space week, hit that like button and respond with, let's go already, in the comments below. Every like helps this channel reach more space enthusiasts just like you. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for continued coverage as these missions unfold. We'll be back with detailed analysis after each launch, and you won't want to miss our special coverage of Starship Flight 8. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. As we follow humanity's greatest adventure, remember that each of these missions brings us one step closer to becoming a truly multiplanetary species. I'll see you in the next video.